Oh my god, that sun is bright. Everyone's singing because we're always, always happy. Oh my god. So we've arrived. Oh, by the way, good morning, guys. Oh, we're going. It's okay. I'm coming. <laughs> Waterfall to start the day off. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just arrived at our new campground here in Whistler and this is called Riverside Campground and it is glorious and the lighting is terrible. I apologize, but look at this. Ah, uh, little camps there behind the bush and boom. Hey girl, how you doing? Oh, can we just... Now, you're not allowed to park up next to your tents here, so we've had to leave everything in the car park and use wheelbarrows and brute strength to bring it all to our campsite. But let me show you something. So here's our van, truck America. And now, as you've seen throughout the vlogs, I've spied four bears, three on camera. The reason there is a sign in this campground specifically, and we all have bear boxes in our next to our tents, this is normally the trailer is behind the van. We put everything in there, anything that has a smell, anything, even tampons, every toiletry has to go in the trailer or in the bear box because they can smell it. So you have nothing but clothes in your tent. Um, the reason there's a sign here, especially is because apparently this area is crawling with bears, which is exciting, very exciting. Yeah, welcome to Whistler. We've got about an hour to chill, get ourselves ready, freshen up after the very long driving day and um, we are actually going, I think, to a sushi restaurant um, which is being hosted by the tourism board as a treat for us, which is really nice. So, yas, yas, son, yas. Okay, so we've arrived at Sushi Village. We've had giant asahi things there. And I'm going to try sake for the first time. It is so this is a seaweed salad yum 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 this is amazing <laughs> So apparently the kitchen is super excited to hear what I think about this because this is like a vegan alternative um, with tofu and they all really want to hear my feedback because it's like the first time they've made it so look how colourful it is! Oh, it's amazing. Which I'm supporting that reaction. This is my first one, guys, I swear. Uh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
guys, so this is the pedestrian area in the village here in Whistler and it's like just full of bars and restaurants and so cute in midday. And then we just have this wild bunch of animals. They're worse than bears, they cause more chaos. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dear God. <laughs> Alcohol on yonder. <laughs> We have got a breakfast of champions, surrounded by champions. Um, good morning guys, so it was a big night last night, huge, we've all had breakfast, we're all feeling a lot more refreshed and hydrated, um, awesome night last night. <clears throat> and Whistler. Uh, we're gonna head now, it's a bit unorganized, I'm gonna grab a taxi, go into the town and go to do the peak to peak which is a gondola from two of the highest mountains I think and you get to see the view. I'll take you with me. It is such a glorious day! So, how much? So the ticket cost, can't remember, good start Ali. It's something like 60 odd dollars. So let's see if it's worth it. Okay, so now we're going on the peak to peak. <laughs> okay, so before this camera battery dies, because it's going to and I have no battery anywhere on anything ever, again. Um, let's just, yeah. Uh, I said I'd tell you whether it was worth 60 odd bucks. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty fucking it's all right. amazing. Yeah, and you're up here for ages, it takes a while. So you can really enjoy it, so I just thought I'd try. So this is it, we're all flying out today at different times. We're stopping off at our last waterfall of the trip en route to Vancouver from Whistler and it's already so pretty, you can hear it. Um, all of my devices last night went dead, there's no way for me to charge them so I have so much to say about this trip and everyone on it but oh, it's beautiful. So now let's have a look at the waterfall. and woo, people. Um, we are dropping a couple of people off because they have an earlier flight and it's really sad and we, we all of a sudden realize we don't like being in the city after all this wilderness we've experienced so we're just like kind of sat in the bush make us feel at home. I want to say goodbye to Zoe and Leah. No the hugging has begun. I don't like it. No, turn in. Keep turning. <laughs> it's a cinnamon bun. So we're currently at Granville Village, or Granville Island, sorry, Granville Island. Um, we're gonna grab some lunch from the market. This place is so cool, proper little hipster place. Look at this taco salad bowl, guys. Those are black beans. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes.
one, may board through the group one lane. Please have your passports open to your picture page along with your boarding card. Thank you. Here we go. Time to say goodbye to Canada. I'll talk to you when I get back to Birmingham. And I'm back. It is almost a week since I returned and I'm still bloody thinking of the trip. Canada was insane. It was mind-blowing. It was beautiful. I had so much fun. It was a camping trip. I don't do camping trips. I've camped before and I enjoy camping so it wasn't crazy new to me but I really I just forgot how much I really enjoy camping and I was going through all the photos a minute ago to try and find a thumbnail and it came across a few on my camera I forgot about of all of the group. Such the best group of people and I had just a fantastic time. So thank you for watching this series on Canada. Uh, the Mountie Tour link, the trip I went on, is linked down below. If you want to go and check it out for yourself, I would 100% recommend you check it out. And I really want to do another um, travel tour with um, Trek America because this one was so good. Oh my god. Again, like I said in the other video, this has been the year of firsts and we're doing, you know, we've had so much going on and camping trip in the Rockies in Canada. Bring it on. Um, I've got to say Whistler and Vancouver, the end of that trip just made it for me. Like the bears, we had the helicopter rides, we had the hiking, but then as soon as we hit Whistler and we kind of just like let go, we all had loads of drinks and just enjoyed ourselves and had a really good laugh. Whistler's an amazing little um, ski village. It really is town, city, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and then we only got like half a day in Vancouver, which I'm really gutted about because as you saw at the end of this video, Vancouver is so nice. Like everywhere is so nice in Canada. I thought, oh, it's just going to be nice. Like in the mountains and like the cities are gonna be like any other city but like in Calgary it was like it was so quiet and everyone's like yeah welcome to Canada <laughs> and then we got to Vancouver and it was just so nice and everyone's like yeah uh welcome to Canada and it's like damn it Canadians you got it so good anyway so I'm gonna end this video here if you enjoyed the vlog series of Canada then do let me know down below let me know what your favorite part was and if you have ever been to Canada what favorite part of Canada is your favorite place what oh my god I need to go <gasps> Clearly just talking gibberish now. Um, don't forget Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All the Psycho Traveler links are down there. A huge shout out to Trek America for taking me on the trip of a lifetime. It was phenomenal. Would do again. Would recommend 100%. Okay. Don't forget, you know, subscribing and all that kind of good stuff. And I will see you in another video, which will be, you know, probably not as jaw dropping as Canada, you know, but I've got like a Birmingham video coming. So, you know, it's kind of on the same level. On par with, you know, the Rocky Mountains, as you've seen, like, Birmingham, Rock uh, same thing. Anyway, I'll see you then, when I see you, when I see you, I don't know, ta-da.